to drive to Big Basin, head toward Santa Cruz on 17, then take 9. This is a very windy road to get to Big Basin. If you get car sick, you may either want to be the driver or take some Dramamine before you go. It's a bit windy, narrow road, but it's a lot of fun in a convertible. Okay, here I am again, and this time I'd like to take you to Big Basin, and we're going to do a 10-mile hike. Some beautiful waterfalls and some great big trees. So I hope you're going to have fun. The trailhead location is in the parking lot across from the park headquarters at the large marker for the Redwood Trail. Continue past the restrooms and cross the bridge over Opal Creek. This will take you clockwise around the falls and up. We, on the other hand, decided to go counterclockwise and go down past the falls. The loop we chose took us from sunset to the skyline to the sea trails loop, which was approximately a length of ten and a half miles. It took us five hours, but we stopped a lot to take pictures and we had a gain of elevation and loss of elevation of plus and minus 400 feet. Along the way we saw the Opal Creek, the Santa Clara tree, old growth forest and undeveloped parked areas, Waddle Creek, Berry Creek Falls, Silver Cascade, and the Golden Falls. One more. Stop. Let's go back. Go back. This way. Yeah. All right. There you go. He's like, I don't think I want to go this way. I think you're a little bit confused, are you? Is that not poisonous or anything? Uh, their skin is. The oils that they produce. Uh, poisonous? Yeah. You want to lick my finger? No.
Amor, amor.